Hello, this is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with our long-run prices still $4 for corn, $10 for soybeans, and $5.50 for wheat. Recently, the Congressional Budget Office released their estimates of farm program payments, including within that is long-run estimates of prices. They had those prices going back to $4 for corn, $10 for soybeans, and below $5.50 for wheat. Commodity prices tend to have long periods where they do not trend up or down. For example, between 1973 and 2005, corn price averaged $2.36. It did not go up. It did not go down. It varied around that trend, but it not, did not trend up or down. We had a break in that trend in 2006 when corn began to be used in the production of ethanol. And we had the ethanol bill to roughly 2012. Since 2006 and between 2006 and 2022, corn prices have averaged 422. Now, corn, soybeans, and wheat prices are much higher than those long-run averages, and we have three forecasts of those prices. One is the Economic Research Service methodology using futures prices. USDA released their long-run prices in February, and in May, the CBO released their long-run scores. If you look at corn, the 2021 price and 22 price are well above the 422 average. For example, in 2022, ERS futures methodologies forecast a 718 price, USDA 675, CBO 6. As we get out Further into the future, both USDA and CBO suggest those prices are coming down. $4 for for USDA forecast and below that for the CBO forecast. Both of those forecasts are suggesting that the current high prices are transitory. Same with with soybeans. Soybeans has averaged 1020 between 2006 and 2020. In 2022, USDA is forecasting that price at 1440. The ERS futures price is at 1450, just a bit above the USDA forecast, and CBO is at 1250, just a little bit below. Both the USDA and CBO have those prices again, soybean prices again coming down and reaching $10, just slightly below that average price from 1020. Again, for soybeans, Long-run forecasts are suggesting that though our high prices are transitory and we will come back down. Same way for wheat. Average price from 2006 to 2020 was $5.62. We're well above that, above $10. Actually, eleven twenty-three according to the ERS futures price for 2022, $10.75 for USDA. For 2022. Again, those prices come back down. USDA has that coming down to 525 in out years. CBO has that coming down to 510. Again, we see that those prices are transitory. Having those prices coming back down is a, a well known <laughs> modeling result, and we're saying that right there are saying that prices are coming back down to their long run averages four dollars for corn ten dollars for soybeans 550 or less for wheat that if those prices actually do that in out years we will have to have see significant adjustments with the in the agricultural sector this year we are projecting break even prices covering all cost including cash rent to be 473 for corn 1106 for soybeans to get four dollar corn and four seventy three to match, there would either have there would have to be some reductions in cost and likely adjustments in cash rents, which would then cause could cause adjustments to farmland pricing. That is what projections suggest. The timing of that is actually uncertain, uh, very uncertain. Chinese demand, which has contributed to, to that increase may not come down as quickly as some expect. Ukraine-Russia war may last longer. And there are also the inflationary impacts that are out there that may cause us not to reach those long-run prices. You can read more about this issue in the Farm Doc Daily. 
linked to the description below.